what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about friday the 13th in this video here again today so we need to talk about the change that new line cinema did that i kind of predicted they would do when i made my last friday the 13th video we know they joined the list of the grow it seems like it's going to be a growing list of people teasing something happening with Friday the 13th and an announcement that Roy Lee has already kind of hinted we might get later this year. They had put up an Instagram post stating that they had a message on Instagram from Jason Voorhees. So who knows if they have actually opened it. They deleted that message though. And what's interesting about that is I said they would do that because it's similar to the Sean S. Cunningham cameo bio update that came and went. They deleted that post and then the rap put out this article recently saying that a new Friday the 13th movie announcement is not imminent. I'm going to say I don't I do not believe that. Uh, they stated in the article that they have it on good authority, I guess, that they were able to confirm this is not true. And I don't know what other sources they're going off of other than, of course, that new line themselves deleted that Instagram post. And we, of course, know that the post in and of itself was for fun. And but th this article from the rap is detailing that they were able to confirm that it's all it was. It was for fun. And that if we're expecting a new Friday the 13th announcement or an announcement about a new movie soon, we're going to be sadly disappointed. Now, I don't think that's completely true. Now, these these people who wrote this article, that person who wrote that article, they could indeed have a source that told them this. Uh, that it's not actually something that's imminent, but I'm going to put my my trust more so in in Roy Lee on this matter, who has gone out of his way on the Boo Crew podcast to tease that we would get something by the end of the year or we could, I would say, get something by the end of the year related to Friday the 13th. We have that. We had something else with, again, the bi the bio update for Sean S. Cunningham over on Cameo saying that a 13th movie was scheduled for next year. And then the other thing about that article is that they were detailing that the reason we might not have a new movie in the foreseeable future or for a while was they detailed it in this exhausting CNN article that I, I think I've already done a video on this where it was just kind of going over Victor Miller's rights, Sean S. Cunningham's rights. And like, that really doesn't uh, matter if they've come to an agreement and that's why these teases were happening. None of that matters if at the end of the day, both parties decide, you know what, let's come together, let's let's make a movie. Already got in touch with New Line and that's why New Line put out that post. That's why they deleted that post. Same thing with how Sean S. Cunningham updated his bio, deleted, deleted the update from said bio. It seems like that's going to be a game that we might get. It might not be because I just find it hard to believe that New Line went out of their way to just have fun like that. Similar how Sean S. Cunningham decided to go have fun on his cameo bio. Could it be that? Sure. But why? What? Why? I mean, the only person we haven't heard from so far at this point is Victor Miller. But I also want to touch on something else because shout out to everyone who was reminding me of what the guy's last name was because I knew his name was Larry. He starred in Friday the 13th Part 3, the character of Shelly, the actor uh, Larry Zerner, who we know is now a lawyer. He gave some insight because I know a lot of people go out to him reaching out for some type of input on like copyright stuff and other things going on with certain things that he has knowledge of since he went into the lawyer field. But he put out something saying that he has no inside knowledge of tweet. I have no inside knowledge of the status of a new Friday the 13th movie, but but based on all the recent signals, I'm predicting that we will get a major announcement very soon. And I believe I believe that's what's going to happen, too. Now, again, the people over at the rap, they could have something where they again have some some sources that told them that it's confirmed that it's not going to be happening anytime soon but then again i don't know if they're just going off of those sources or if they're going off of the fact that new line deleted their instagram post and that's all that there, there is to it because again I predicted that New Line would do something like that. So with them doing that, I'm thinking that this is all a part of the games, the mind games is, that are going to play out and probably even more so from another party soon <laughs> until we get that official announcement saying, hey, we got a new Friday the 13th movie coming out next year. So, you know, for everyone that might be a little bit disappointed that they deleted the post, I don't think that this is a, is a complete sign that Jason Voorhees will not get a new movie next year. Uh, I don't think so. And, and Larry, Larry Zerner, he's not able to tell us anything. He said he has no inside knowledge of the status, but going off of all the recent signals, he's predicting that we'll get a major announcement very soon. Now, those major signals, again, have been Roy Lee. Sean S. Cunningham's cameo bio update, which if you think that's small, you can think that's small. 
But the fact that it again said 13th movie scheduled next year and got removed, that was interesting. And then on top of that, the thing after that, which was the biggest, New Line Cinema deciding to put out an Instagram post of a of a home screen, screenshot of a home screen of an Instagram request message from Jason Voorhees with a caption saying, what do you think Jason wants? Obviously, Jason Voorhees, after all these freaking years, he wants a new movie and you're about to give it to him. So why did they delete the post? Again, it's something that seems like it's in the same vein of what happened with the Sean S. Cunningham bio update. So the fact of the matter is, I think this is what I'm thinking. When other outlets, other major outlets that are not people like me and other YouTubers picked up on that Sean S. Cunningham bio thing, New Line decided to take a stab at it and go in and tap there and tease it a bit as well by putting out that post and then deleting it. Similar to what Sean did with Cameo, deleting that update in the Cameo bio saying that there's a 13th movie scheduled for next year. Now, the New Line post didn't exactly say that there is a new movie or something's coming and it very well could have been them just coincidentally all of this could be pure coincidence that is that is a possibility it could have been the case of this being a big coincidence and what new line was doing was just referencing something because the halloween season was approaching but again why did they decide to delete it why delete it why not leave it up i believe that we are going to have an announcement related to a friday the 13th movie that article from the rap is saying that an announcement is not imminent so if you want to believe that that's fine i'm going to remain on the side of thinking that we're going to get something announced by the end of the year uh potentially and jason Voorhees will return on october next year if he doesn't then he just doesn't but i do think that we're getting closer and closer to seeing jason Voorhees, of course stalk crystal lake putting him either in modern times if you prefer to see this dated back into the 80s again that's fine but the fact of the matter is i think that both sean and victor have decided to put their differences aside and come together and make a movie that everyone will want to see because that's the only way i think they'll be able to effectively profit off of this the most if they can both come together with the things they have the rights to and mesh their creativeness together then we'll, we'll be on a good foot a good foot forward going into a new movie but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video